Glory to God. The Word of God says that the pure in heart will see God. Uh -huh. You got to be pure in heart if you want to see God. Because a lot of our hearts are, are wretched. A lot of our hearts are, are corrupt. Uh, a, a lot of our hearts are, are just contaminated with sin. Uh-huh. I know the heart, man. So a lot of you, 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 you dress the part, but you, but you like the heart. Uh-oh. Yeah, you, you, you dress the part, but you like the heart. You know, in sports, they say you got good heart. Good heart. To talk about your, your, your skills, your abilities, your, your, your perseverance. What about your heart towards people? Uh-oh. What about your heart towards people who look different from you, believe different, dress different, people of different walks of life. What about your attitude towards them? A lot of you, it's not good. A lot of you, you, you gossip, you backbite, you steal, you rob, you, you, you're a whore, you sleep around with other people's, other um, girls' men, and vice versa. Oh, if you are in these, uh, these, these secret sins, your, lip, your, your, your heart is, is, is vile. And I hear how you talk to people, the disrespect, the rudeness, the arrogance. God wants you to have pure words in your tongue, a, a pure vocabulary. A lot of you, you, you just say, oh, F this and F that and F that mother, F and all that stuff. You need a new tongue. Your tongue is vile. You need a, a spiritual Listerine, a, a spiritual mouthwash. Yes. Because you, you, you speak wretched about people. Oh, man, your, your words are vile. The way you speak, the way you look at people, you look down on them, you criticize them, you, 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 you kiss your teeth at them, you ignore people in need, you think more about you than other people. You're not really good. Oh no, only the pure in heart will see God. You need God, man. God will give you a, 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 a pure heart. You have heard, you know, reading from Matthew 5. You have heard it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love, love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you. Oh, this is all men. No, you are my disciples. If you have, yes, love for one another, man. Yes, you have love, man. Love for one another. You need love, man. You got God's love in you? Love, man. True love comes from God. Not you. God give you true love, my, my man. Amen. God's love will give you. God love will give you true love. Oh, man. You think love is lust? No, no. Love isn't lust. Love is see what you what, what see you, on these on these porno scenes. That's not that's not love, man. Love is in a one night stand. Lo love is homosexuality. Love isn't having random sex. Love you, man. God made a middle finger, man. God, love isn't one night stands, man. Love isn't uh transgenderism. No, I, I thought you loved your identity, man. Or you, you're confused, man. Oh man, sad. Love is to have a sex with someone else's woman or someone else's man. Oh no, love is being in your own lane. Love is being your own, your own husband, your own wife. That's love. You know why you're here? Sperm and egg. Yes, sperm and egg. That's why you're here. Exists male and female is why you're here. That's the way it's always been. That's the way it will always be. So for those who will go against the natural order of things, you're out of order. You can rebel all you want. You can put up middle fingers all you want. But the truth still stands. You're here because of sperm and egg coming together, fusing together, mitosis. Hello, and you're here. I don't care if you're queer. God is here and he says, turn there the other way. 
turn, turn. Why will you burn and let the flag of fire? Why? Pray for those that persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. Amen. Your, your father one, will one day die. Your earthly father will one, one day die. Some of you girls call that man your baby daddy. He dies one day. But guess what? God don't die. Oh, God doesn't die. Amen. So I'm truly, I'm the son of my father in heaven. He caused his son to rise on the evil and the good. Uh-huh. With all your dirty, filthy ways, oh, God still gives you a sunlight. With all your wretched ways, he still gives you a sunlight. Oh, and the sun's still there. After all these years, so-called millions of years, the sun is still there. God still gives you mercy on your, your drunkenness, your cheating, your scamming, your lying. Oh, God still shines the light on your wicked behaviors, your cheating. You're cheating. God still does it, man. Your embezzlements. Your gun, your gun violence. God still shines on the good and the evil. He sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. That rain of God is still available. Cheese. <laughs> What's up? What's up? Yes, he sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. The rain just fell. Whether, whether you believe in God or not, whether you're a murderer or not, rapist or not, pedophile or not, oh, God still send the rain down on you, on the land. Oh, what a merciful God. Woo! If you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? It's easy to love those who love you. It's easy to love those who agree with you. But try loving those who don't like you. Try loving those who scorn you. Who, who lie on you. Who hurt you. Whether physically or emotionally, try that. Without God, you can't do that. Oh, only God. He said, loving those who love you, you got no reward. But when you love those who don't love you, oh yeah, I love those who go who come against me. I love those who don't like me. I love those who stick up middle fingers at me. I love those who have hurt me. I love those who have violated me. Because my Bible says, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. They don't know what they're doing. That's why there's still police out here trying to keep you in place. Trying to keep you unbehaved. Um, because you're a mess without God. Oh, you're a mess. Uh, if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Oh, yeah, I greet everybody. Whether I know you or not, I, I greet everybody. Everybody, I agree. You know what? I'm a born again believer. I agree. Everybody, yeah. I'm God. Know you. You know why? Cause I know you're God's creation. You, you're a human like me. You bleed like me. You have needs like me. Desires like me. So I agree. Everybody, yeah. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Yeah, morally perfect. Not saying that you, you'll never ever fail a test, you won't ever, um, I don't know, trip, trip on something or bust your knee on something. You know, it means morally perfect. God can help you to be morally perfect. Yeah. He said, he told that hoe, sin no more, hoe. Go and sin no more. God never tells you what you to do what you cannot do. Amen. Be careful. You don't do your acts of righteousness before men to be seen by them. I'm doing this for the, for God's glory, not your glory. I'm doing this for God's glory. If you do, you have no reward. No reward. 
When you give to the needy, don't announce it with trumpets as hypocrites do. In the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, oh, there's so much needs in the world. What, what, what are we doing, man? Spending billions of dollars in war every year. Billions of war, billions of war. And there's people hungry. They say, oh, where's God and all this? Where's God? No, what, what are we, where's us? Where's we? Where's us? No, we, we've been spending money on, on hoes, on prostitutes, on pornography, on movies, on war. When there's people suffering around us. But no, we don't care. We don't care. We want to we wanna fulfill our lusts. That's what we want. We don't care about people way yonder in other countries. No, we want more, more sex, more orgasms, more blowjobs, more, more, more. And we neglect people in need. Oh, indeed, it's true. In war, we are spending millions, billions on war and it's people suffering every day. The government don't take that money and spend on food for the people in need to go and give them like, you know, job training and building water wells and teaching them skills in the agriculture and farming and education. You know, the government ain't doing that. No, we're spending billions on war instead. We're bombing people instead. Say, oh, where's God? So where's us? God gave us the resources that we have mismanaged our resources. And that's why they're suffering. Not, not because of God, but because we have mismanaged our resources. They have received the reward in full. And God can help you to be... Uh, a lot of you are don't know how to manage your, your own self. That's why you, you easily get angry. That's why you're easily upset because you haven't learned to manage your emotions. Oh, you're, you're, a lot of you are emotionally intelli uh, unintelligent. You're emotionally bankrupt. You got all this money, yet you're emotionally bankrupt. Easily angry, easily stressed, easily worried. Easily horning around, easily cheating, easily lying. You're bankrupt. Emotionally bankrupt. You need God. You need God. He may loves you. He loves you. He will manage you to stop being a, 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 a God hater. Amen. The, the night obvious, you're, you're breathing God's air. Oh, you're using God's air. If you don't need God, go get your own air. Get your own air. Oh, you can't. You can't. Now, can you? No. If you don't need God, make your own universe. Make your own galaxy. Go. Go do it. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't make your own cosmos. You're limited. You're a limited resource. Using God's um, sunlight for warmth. You're using all, man. And you just leave, and you just say, I don't care. I don't need God. They say, oh, stop telling us what to do. Stop telling us how to live. Well, if there's no laws, what is there but chaos? If there's no laws, there's chaos. Why do we need police? Why do we need military, army? If, 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 why do we have standards for anything? If you're, don't do, don't do, don't tell me what to do. I live my life. So why the police? Why does the judge tell you how to live your life? Why does the judge say, don't do that uh, physical assault again? Don't set that building on fire again. Uh, don't steal that car again. Why does the judge say that if we supposed to do what we want to do? Because without law, there is lawlessness. Without law, there's chaos. You know why it's so evil in the world? Lawlessness. Reprobate people. Violators. Haters of good. Haters of the truth. 
you can't handle the truth. That's why the homosexuals get upset at me. The atheists get mad at me. Oh, that's why, because they can't handle the truth. The drunkards get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, get mad at, get mad at God, if anything. Talk to him about it. I'm just God's messenger. Amen. And he's saying if you remain and it's obedient, you, you're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt, man. I don't want to see you get hurt needlessly. God can give you uh, direction. God can give you sustenance. Freedom, man. Freedom, man. Yes. Freedom, man. Over the bad habits. Over any bad habit. Freedom. Because you're in bondage. But God can give the, the captive uh, liberation. Liberation. Christ came to set the captive free. 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 Well, thank God for laws. Without laws, we keep doing wrong. Oh no. You were made to live a life just for yourself, to please yourself. Because whatever you do impacts me. If you smoke, it, it impacts the air. It impacts people who don't smoke. They say, oh, why are you concerned about whores and homosexuality? You know, STDs go around, man. They go around. Uh-huh, because people, people can't stay in their own lane. Diseases go around. Some of them lie to you. They say, well, I've only had 10 sex partners when they really had a, a, a hundred. They say, I've only had five sex partners when it was really 50. They lie. Liars. All liars have their part in the league of fire. Lying about your sex life. That's what you do because you're, fe you're fearful that a person will reject you. Oh, you're afraid you'll be rejected. Guess what? If you don't, if you don't repent of your sins, God will reject you. Amen. Listen, the boss rejects you if you don't uh, um, live up to the requirements. The NBA will reject you if you're not good enough. Uh-oh. The NFL will reject you if you're not good enough uh-huh that girl that man will reject you if you're not good enough well thank god god knew none of us are good enough but by his mercies by his grace he knows we're not good enough for heaven oh no we're bad enough for heaven bad enough for heaven so he so because of christ sacrifice on our place knowing that we're not good enough he took the he took the place our place your place thank you yes he took our place amen because we weren't good enough yes we're not good enough cheaters not good enough drunkards not good enough liars not good enough thieves not good enough Haters, uh, uh, gangsters, not good enough. Whores, sluts, not good enough. Yes, not good enough. Oh yeah, we're not good enough. Pimp daddies, not good enough. You're not. You're not good enough for heaven, man. But a savior took your place. A savior took my place. A savior. If you're a sex freak, repent. If you're a drug addict, repent. If you're an alcoholic, repent. Yeah, you're messed up. You're messed up. Your life is not getting any better. You leaving out God? Futile. It's futile, man. Yeah, it's vain. Vain. Leaving out God. Uh huh? God's God's glory is everywhere, man. The, the, the clouds, the trees, the air you breathe. Even, yeah, even, even your sex. 
He didn't get sex. Yeah, without, without God, there is no sex. Everywhere, you, can, you can't escape God's love, man. You can't escape God's uh, glorious splendor, man. Ah, uh -huh, you can't escape, man. Woo! You can see. You can hear. With your ears. You can taste that, that nice, lean cuisine. That pizza, the burgers, the fries. Thank God, man, for those taste buds. Woo! All these blessings. A, a, a nice, cool mango smoothie on a hot day. Uh, well, oh man, amen. God is great. All these blessings. All these blessings. The 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 beach, the, the rivers, the lakes. Yeah, yeah. God's blessings, man. Why do we not uh, see understand these things? It's either by random chance or or design. Either one. The chance or or random design. Amen. Look, man. The, the way the, the, the buildings are wonderfully crafted and, and planned. Man, the intelligence of man. All this is by random chance, really? Your, 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 your family, your friends, uh, your loved ones, uh, a blessing of, of, of a smartphone, uh, your, your, your TV, man, your, your, your comfy bed. Man, all these by random chance? The power to think, the power to communicate, to, to show empathy, to understand the world. All this by random chance? Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, we're just a, a bunch of cells and a bunch of, of chromosomes and DNA. That's it. Even a. Uh, Scientists are still trying to understand the complexity of the, of the world. Amen. Still trying to understand. Scientists still are, are changing their minds about certain things. And changing their mind and, and wondering and changing ideas. One thing I know though. The power, the power to even know we exist. The power to know that we are even alive. The power of, of, of consciousness more than testifies of a creator God. The power to, to rationalize, to, to think beyond feelings, to step into logic and, 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 and principles, to, to, to change. Amen. I mean, for the most part, the, the, the animal kingdom is really set in their ways, set in their, their, their instincts. But, but we humans can, can uh, alter and change and, and, be, and be different and change our habits and routines. There's something uh, uh, different about humans, something different. God said, uh, uh, man, God gave man the dominion of the earth. He said, subdue the earth. Uh, uh, come on, a lot of you don't, don't, can't even uh, put a, a, a piece of, of, of garbage in the garbage bin, um, bin. Right next to the bin, you throw your, 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 your papers and cigarettes and cups on the ground. And the garbage bin is right there. Wow, we're not doing a really good job of subduing the earth and, and, and cleaning our environment. Oh no, we're just dirty people, aren't we? Dirty. Oh, but God can cleanse you, man. Some places like like in, in the South, they got some nice uh, rules with, with, with cleaning and and and, and um, sanitation. Much better than up here. Way better. And then we get used to all the filth on the ground. That's like how we, we get comfortable in sin. Comfortable with garbage. We don't care. Or oh, let someone else take care of that. We don't care. We get used to it. Okay. Oh, we get used to the sin. And that's the devil's agenda. Have us used to sin. What used to be wrong, now was right. What used to be frowned out, frowned upon, now was right. Now men are being feminine. 
Now girls are being masculine. All these contortments, all these mixing and confusion. And nobody knows who they are. One day you're a man, then you're a lizard, then you're a, 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 a hippo, then you're a giraffe, then you're a baby, then you're a dog. No closure with your identity, none. Confusion is in the land. Confusion, man. Crisis. A gender crisis. A sexual crisis. Crisis, man. Next thing you know, they can be thinking it's, it's uh um it's okay to to have random sex with random animals. They can think it's okay. Uh huh. Confusion. Contortments of reality. They gonna think the ear is used to eat food. They gonna think the nose is used to drink water. They gonna, they gonna exchange the body parts for different functions than it was intended to be. Oh, confusion in the land. Confusion. Because the devil brings confusion. Sin brings confusion. Amen. Sin and confusion. Yes. A lot of you are living in confused lives. Confused. Thinking it's okay to uh, 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 abort your children, abort them in the womb. They say black lives matter. What about the black babies being uh, uh, slaughtered and killed? I know we don't care about that. You know, most abortions because of inconvenience. Because no one thinks about waiting waiting for the right time for sex no no you, you horny i'm horny pants down panties down boxes down and, and, and then we get our freak on what oh no they say oh it's not cool to be a virgin that's how it was in high school for me if you're a virgin they say what you're, you're strange man you're weird and i thought i was weird too being 17 and a virgin yeah, wait, yeah, I'm 17? I haven't had sex yet. 17? Y'all yeah, all having sex. Know that, that there is consequences to that lifestyle. And you gotta be responsible with that. And now we got people having three kids at, at, at 19. Three kids at 19 because nobody wants to wait. It's all instant gratification. That's what we want. Why want we wait and be patient? It's all about rushing. I want that. All my friends having sex. I want to have sex. They all getting drunk. I want to get drunk too. They partying. I want to party too. But the Bible tells me, don't follow a multitude to do evil. Because most people are doing wrong. Most people doing wrong. Yes. And we all do what everybody else is doing. That's too easy. Uh huh. That's too easy to do what everybody else is doing. Oh, but God says no. Go on the narrow way that leads to life. Yes, the narrow way. That's hard, man. To go against to go against the drunkenness, that, that's hard. Go against the party, get lit, get high, that's hard, man. The twerk, not twerk in the club, hard, man. To do what's right. I, I don't know. I don't go with culture mentality. I go with God's mentality, man. Yes, God says, be on your wife. Don't 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 cheat. On your wife. No, the word says, oh no, have your fun on the side. Have your fun on the side. But God says, no, drink water out of your own cistern. Be loyal. Be loyal. Yes. Or be loyal. Be loyal, man. So if people would just learn to just be to wait, wait to the right time for sex, there'll be way less abortions. Way less. Way less. If we were patient, if we would stop being sex freaks, if we would deal and stop putting ourselves in situations, 
compromising situations, there'll be less abortions, less mothers who have regrets with the abortions, yes. Many of them have regrets. Regrets. And sin will have you leave, uh, having regrets. Sin leaves you with regrets. Regrets. But you need a spiritual reset. Lest you have those regrets. Amen. God, man. God will help you to have peace, to have clarity, to have joy. Yes, joy in your spirit, joy in your soul, joy in your mind, joy. I've got the joy of the Lord, man. Joy. Most of you got no joy. You need joy. Joy in my spirit, joy in my soul, joy. A lot of you suffering with loneliness, suffering with depression, anxiety, suffering, suffering, suicide, suffering, and pain, suffering. You're suffering, man. You're suffering. You need God. Turn to him, man. Turn to him. Don't turn to the rock and roll. Don't turn to the rock and roll in the Fortnite, the Call of Duty, man. Turn to God. He loves you, man. He loves you. Yes, turn to God. Turn to God. Amen. Don't turn. You turn to the Call of Duty, the Fortnite. Oh, you need God every night. You need God every day, not Fortnite. You need God every day and night, not Fortnite. God's God day and night. Yes. You don't need Call of Duty. You need God's duty of your life to love people. That's God's duty. That's God's call of duty for you to love people, to love your enemies. That's God's call of duty for you. <laughs> That's God's call of duty to love. Yes, to, to love. Amen. To love one another.